Hey, Ellie, check it out. I can control the weather with my hands. This is exactly how clouds make it rain. I'm making a mudslide. <laughs> that water was supposed to be for the plants that we're planting. Oh, I forgot about that Earth Day homework. Hey, why do we need to plant new trees anyway? Look, there's tons around here. Well, sure, there are tons of trees around here, but did you know that we're cutting down lots and lots of trees every year? More trees than we're actually planting. So it's important that we start to plant trees every year as well. And did you know that trees help clean our air by breathing in carbon dioxide, which is bad for the environment, and breathing out oxygen, which is good for us. <laughs> and fun fact, there are more trees here on Earth than there are stars in the sky. Wow, I guess trees are pretty cool. Hey, do you have any extra seeds for me? Oh, sure do. Come over here. I have a hole I dug right next to mine. Awesome. Just for you, Jimmy. All right. All you have to do is bury your seed. Oh, but first, let me give it a little bit of that Jimmy magic, you know, before I plant it. Here comes the Jimmy seed a -rooney. Let me put my basketball on my seed first. That way I'll know it's mine. Stay right there, Mr. Seed. Don't you start growing on me. We're gonna get you some water. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea, Jimmy. <sighs> oh, Jimmy! I told him not to leave his basketball laying around. Now, where am I gonna plant this little beauty? <laughs> hey, well, this is a good spot, huh? Now that'll help you go grow nice and tall and strong. <laughs> Whoa, Ellie, check it out. My little seed, it's a tree already. Oh, I can't believe this. I told you I had mad Earth Day skills. Oh, how is this even possible? This must be some sort of miracle. Yeah, a miracle. Jimmy's Earth Day miracle. I like the sound of that. Hi, Coach Rocco. Guess what, Coach? I just planted a super seed. It went from a seed to a whole tree in like two minutes, all thanks to my expert planting techniques. <laughs> that sounds great, Jimmy. I'm so glad you're enjoying Earth Day this year. <laughs> Here, I have a new Earth Day activity for you. I'm taking all the rotten food out of the fridge and making a big compost pile out of it. Compost? All I know about compost is when you take all the food that's about to go bad, pile it up in your backyard for all the worms to eat, and they turn it into nutritional food for plants. Compost! Exactly, Ellie. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely compost. Oh, you got any food for me to sample? Oh, Coach Rocco, why are you tasting all the food to see if it's going bad? Wouldn't it be easier to just smell it? Well, that's one way you could do it. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, I'm almost done here in the fridge. Why don't you two run upstairs and see if you could find anything else we can add to the compost? Okay, that sounds fun. All right, everyone. If you want to see what we can find in my bedroom, then make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Come on, Jimmy, let's do it. Bet you can't beat me upstairs. Compost, definitely compost. Okay, so I was looking online to see what exactly is compostable. And it turns out there's a lot of things other than food that you can use to make compost. Okay, so you can't use things like metal or plastic, but you can use things like Scrap paper from your arts and crafts. Ooh, Q-tips and cotton balls. And this is the coolest one. Even balloons. Balloons can even be made for compost. All right, I should be all good for composting. Look, it's me, the trash man. Whoa, did you know that toilet paper is compostable? Compostable, Compo ready for the compost pile? And we have so much of it in the bathroom. We hit the jackpot. Well, I didn't know that, Jimmy, but we probably shouldn't be using things that we need, and Coach Rocco's gonna get pretty mad at us if we compost this toilet paper. Hmm, I guess you're right. Well, what can we compost instead? 
How about this old dress? That's definitely compostable. What about this old bear? No, we can't compost Sparkles the bear. He sleeps with me every night. And we can't compost all our clothes either because we wear them every day, Jimmy. And by the way, why are you looking just in my room? I'm sure there's plenty of compostable things in your room. Well, here's the thing. I already went through my room, and I can assure you, there is nothing to compost in there. I'm clean as a whistle. Oh, I gotta see that. <laughs> no, Ellie, come back. I'm telling you, there's nothing compostable. See, what I tell you? There's nothing to compost in here. It's perfectly clean. I just forgot to make my bed this morning. Hey, look, my basketball. That means it's time for a very special Earth Day Spinner Rooney. Whoa. Perfectly clean. Well, I guess there's nothing to compost in here after all, Jimmy. That's quite a shame because I thought that you were the Earth Day expert and that you would have much more to compost in here than I thought. Huh. Well, I guess there is one more place I could check. Behind the bed. What about this? Oh, a chicken wing. Mm, all right, I think that can be composted. Oh, what about this from last night? Oh, a pizza box is actually perfect. Oh, pizza box, that reminds me. I have one piece of pizza left. Oh, how old is that thing, Jimmy? <laughs> huh. It's either the pizza from last night or from last month. I don't know. Have anything else? It's been so good so far. Jimmy has really stepped it up this year. Not only have we learned how to help the environment, but we've also cleaned up a bunch around the place. <laughs> and to celebrate, I baked this delicious apple pie. <laughs> that looks so yummy. Oh boy, more compost. My beautiful crispy apple pie. Jimmy, that wasn't for composting, that was for eating. Oh, What's this no. I see here? A plastic bottle in the trash? You guys know better than that. You need to start recycling your disposables like Captain Earth Day expert Jimmy. Come on, I'll show you. I created a whole new system for the garbage that's sure to cut down on confusion. Listen closely. The paper goes in the green basket. The plastic goes in the blue basket. The bottle caps go in the red basket. The paper and plastic, when they're together, you know, that should go in the green basket, but only on Tuesdays. On Thursdays, it should go in the blue basket. Unless, of course, it's a leap year, then it goes in the red basket. Wow, Jimmy, great job. I am so glad you did this because we got all sorts of garbage that needs to be sorted out for recycling. <laughs> and since you're the expert, me and Ellie will leave you here to do it all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, and me and Coach Rocco will go back into the kitchen and make another apple pie, one that we won't be composting. <laughs> all right, Captain Earth Day expert, have fun with that. See you later. But wait a second, apple pie? Oh, that sounds yummy. Oh, what was that system again? Plastic in the green? I, I, the red. Oh, no.